Hi, is this Corey? Yes, it is. Corey, what's going on? It's Lewis and McKay calling from Cool 100. Oh, hey, how are you doing? Doing good, man, doing good. How are you doing? <laughs> I am doing amazing. I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is definitely uh, crazy time. Yeah, it's it's amazing when something happens like this, right? Like the lightning strikes, you're like, whoa, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> well, awesome. Uh, definitely exciting, though. Cool. So, uh, okay, so uh, on the line with us this morning is Corey Parkin. Now, Corey, you are an artist out of Tynanega, correct? Yes, I am. Yes. Now, it was uh, on Indigenous Peoples Day, so last week, something happened for you as an artist. You you kind of do these uh, these reimaginings of sports logos. Yep. And you did one for the Toronto Blue Jays, which looks fantastic, by the way. Oh, yeah. And then Sportsnet picked it up, and now everyone basically wants to see this thing to become the Toronto Blue Jays logo. I know it's. Uh, I have actually did this like uh, the original one I did. Uh, I, was, I think it was back in 2016, 2017, and my uh, like my full pitch team. We picked up the logo, just started using it, started spreading it. So then a couple years ago, I redid it and put like a new modern touch on it. And a lot of my close friends and people that follow me in that have seen it. But, yeah, like once Sportsnet put it out there, it just really, like just so many people now have been able to see it and have reached out. And yeah, it's just amazing. So how's your inbox doing? Um, pretty full. So if anyone that uh, has messaged me that's listening, I apologize. I do plan to get back to them uh, today and tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, usually I was doing a lot of my own merch, but I had to reach out to one of my uh, close friends that who makes shirts and that and just ask, like, if he can help me with uh, putting these orders together for people. Yeah, because I know Lewis and I were definitely down for some of this stuff. This is amazing. You've also got, a, you know, a line of clothes at Walmart that are out for Indigenous Peoples Month, right? Yes, I do as well. Um, yeah, there was a logo competition. So I had some friends from the community that reached out and uh, tagged me and knew that was something that – Usually I do, and I put it in for the Indigenous Proud label back in February and just thought, like, this is something I'm really passionate about, something I do. So put together the logo, and it was, like, about a week later they had reached out and said that, yeah, they love the story, love the design, wanted to go with it. And I've been working closely with them, and, like, I can't thank them enough for how supportive they've been. But, yeah, it was within a week before Walmart released them, they broke the news to me that Walmart had picked up the label, so I just feel like in the past couple of weeks, it was like finding that out and re-celebrating that now this opportunity is coming. And then a week after Walmart had there, um, I was working with the Argos and they picked up my logo. And now they had a camp this past weekend on our reserve that I was able to share. And then now with Sportsnet doing this Blue Jays, it just, it's been like such a great ride right now. Yeah. Wow. That is, that is amazing. Do you have moments where you're just, you know, it's breakfast time, you're eating a bowl of cereal, you just start laughing with like how amazing it's been last little bit? Yeah, it's like just even like when I went to the like the camp, like seeing a lot of the stuff, and I've uh, been blessed to be able to have like with social media and shipping things all the way down to uh, Houston and uh, Texas and Florida, and I've had like out to the West Coast, so I don't really see a lot of my designs on people, but I've had like a lot of uh, like people request stuff and that. So now, like even when I came into the uncles' camp, and all these kids are running around playing fo- like football with like pinball Clemens is there. And just to, like, walk up and them just being like, hey, like, here's your shirt. And it was just, like, overwhelming. And I'm like, it's, like, it was exciting. But it's like, yeah, the first time I've just really seen something like that, that everybody's coming over to me asking for photos. And it's just, yeah, I just never thought I would be at this point with it. Now, Corey, you're from Ty and Danaga. So is there somewhere there people can go and see your work? Or basically, do we just go to socials? Um, for now, it's a social. Um, I've been doing a lot of the stuff, like, a lot of the acrylic paintings and that and I've had like I've done paintings for like Alec Manoa and a bunch of other prospects um, in the Blue Jays system, Danny Jansen so I've just been doing like kind of a hobby but yeah like since uh, me and the wife celebrated our first uh, child there um, nine months ago it just really made me kind of want to tap into understanding where I've really come from and really appreciating it so that what he grows up I can pass that along to him so I just kind of really tapped into more getting back into the culture and trying to celebrate um, Indigenous people and that. So it's, I feel like I've had a lot of people ask for a studio, but it was only just a side hobby. But now with how well it's been doing, it's like, yeah, there's, fortunately, it's only social media for now, but I'd like to be able to one day have a better option if people want to come see it in person and 
to see what the stuff looks like. Well, and, and now, so because it is digital, Paints by Parkin is the group that you use, don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah, so Paints by Parkin. Search that on Facebook uh, if you're listening, and you'll be able to find Corey's work. And it's just fantastic, amazing work, especially that Blue Jays logo. I can't tell you how much I love that thing. I saw that. I always love it first sight when I saw it. I appreciate that, yeah. Like, it's... <laughs> Like, obviously, like, I'm always, like, I try to get into a lot of the stuff that I do is, like, teams that I really support because I've always wanted to have that, be able to show that I'm indigenous and I'm proud of who I am and my people and that, but then also celebrating, like, the teams that I enjoy so people can, like, it's uh, the balance between that. So now just having everybody else reach out and, and, and love it just as much as, like, I love with how it came out there. It's just, like, amazing. Nah, it is it is amazing is the exact word I would use to describe it. So, um I know a lot of people are bugging you left, right, and center. They want this on a shirt. They want this on a hat. Is there a timeline at all? Um, so I have uh, got back to, um, from my friend there, and I believe because of the the large amount of orders in that, um, it's probably going to be looking around a few weeks, um, but I'm going to let people know that I'll try to touch back in with them then. Um, but I'm also working with another amazing designer out of Toronto, that uh, he works personally with uh, Fred Van Fleet of the Raptors and stuff. Nice. And a lot of his stuff is just amazing. And I've we've got other projects in the works, but he wanted to help me out get these jerseys and hats. So hopefully within, like, probably around the time they'll be able to start sending out some of the T-shirts, I might be able to also share, like, the jerseys and hats that we have we're working on. And, yeah, there's some uh, pretty amazing stuff. And some of the mock-ups I've seen, I'm pretty excited with how they're turning out. Well, that's great. Well, McKay and I will send you our sizes because we're going to want one of everything. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Oh, I appreciate that. It's like indigenous-style street sportswear. You started yeah. your whole whole niche market. I know. It's uh, Like I said, I'm just, just growing up, you always have that. And people know what the teams I'm referring to, but like that proper representation for a logo. But... I knew, like, when growing up, it was cool to support them because they're like, hey, it's an indigenous logo and it's a mainstream. So I kind of wanted to properly demonstrate it and honor these, uh, like, other traditions and cultures and that. And I've done the Blue Jays in different styles there, but I've just always been uh, amazed and looked up to a lot of the West Coast design. So I just wanted to use in my logo, like, honoring those people, but also have my touch of putting the, the Toronto Blue Jays in Mohawk. So, yeah, I just try to... Include everything that people can now see, like and like, just enjoy the beauty of Indigenous art. Well, and beautiful is another great word to describe it. It's it's fantastic, Corey. All all the hope for all of your success, man. It's been awesome talking to you. Thanks so much. No, yeah, thank you so much for having me on. And we'll stay in touch too, because uh, one, I want one of these shirts and a hat, and two, I, I really want to make sure that uh, this gets out because this is awesome art. Yeah, I know. I appreciate that. Yeah, like I've got those stuff coming up, and like. I've just been just blessed with the opportunities, but I do have a lot of stuff. Like I'm uh, closely working with uh, NHL teams, uh, OHL and AHL teams, and some of them are local. So I'd love to, uh, like, for people to just if they want to follow me, I'll try to keep them updated and just showcase the, and put as much new creative stuff I can out there for people. And once again, that's Paint by Parkin on Facebook if you want to follow Corey's artwork and the success and, and, and the, the journey that he has now found himself on. So, yeah, all the best, man. Have a good one. Yes, you too. Thank you so much. Right on, Corey. That was fantastic.